here's the deal. We're doing this right in the heart of rush hour, right? Yeah. Good. So we're going to stand around me real nice and tight because I'm painfully shy and soft-spoken. <laughs> Therefore, if I'm not spinning on you, you're not close enough, right? Got it. Follow me. This is the world's largest. This terminal covers 49 acres. It goes from 42nd Street out those doors all the way up to 97th Street, right. All of Park Avenue is built on our roof. In fact, if I was to unroll a map, a floor plan of this entire terminal, you would need a magnifying glass to see the pin dot that is this 22,000 square foot main concourse. Everybody, we're going to go over to the Vanderbilt Hall, where I'm going to tell you about the rise, the fall, and the rise once again of Grand Central Terminal. So follow me, tight, fast, good, walk this way. We're one of the most successful shopping centers in the U.S. of A. But we're not a shopping center, we're a train terminal. Right. I'll tell you how that works because, number one, 750,000 people, right? Uh, it's weather protected. Everybody knows where it is. You found it. We're also the second uh, most visited site in New York City. We have 200,000 visitors a day. Second only Times Square, that's 300,000. We have as many visitors in one day that the Statue of Liberty has in one year. Right, and now, as you may know, hope you know, via east side access, the Long Island Railroad, with the deepest tunnels cut in planet Earth, are bearing in here as we speak to build a terminal under this terminal. So the terminal is telling us that we have a brain to listen to it. It is telling us a story for us about renewal, reimagination, regeneration, rebirth, Yes, reinvention. So with my love for this terminal, I thank you for allowing me to give you this tour of Grand Central Terminal. You're a tough crowd. You're all right. You're stoic.